Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribed, please subscribe. So in this module, we are going to discuss what number is the top which the third part exceeds the fifth part by four. So parts means before doing this, we have to know about fractions. So third part means third part will write as one by three. Fifth part means we'll write it as five. One by five. So let take let number will be equal to. We don't know that number. We'll take that number as x. Third part of that number is third part of a number. Will be equal to one by three into x. That is, one by three x. Next fifth part of a number will be equal to one by five into x. That is, one by five x. So what they are asked is what they are given is. So what they are given, one by third part of Number, it is exceeds means this value exceeds one by fifth of x. So one by three part exceeds means if you add one by five into x for that four, then you'll get greater. Exceeds means it's greater. So for that we need to add four to this. So one by three x will be equal to one by five into x plus four. So what we have to do this one by five shift this side. So one by three x minus one by five x will be equal to four. Take one by three minus one by five common into x will be equal to four. Take LCM for four for this three fives are fifteen. So one into five five minus one into three three will be equal to four. Here into x is there. Then what value you will get here is x into two by two by fifteen will be equal to four. Then x will be equal to two. X will be equal to four into fifteen. Then x will be equal to four into fifteen by. Two to one za to two za. That is x will be equal to two into fifteen. That is thirty. Then what is the answer? X will be equal to thirty. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hello viewers. Thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribe, please subscribe. So in this module we are going to discuss what is the solution for third one. So what is our third question is the difference between two positive integers is thirty six. The quotient when one integer is divided by other is equal to four. Find the integers. In that, given that one number b, so let one number already hint that given one number is equal to x, then other number is that is second number. Second number will be equal to x minus thirty six. So how we got x minus thirty six? We should know. So let's take two integer subtraction that is different. X minus y will be equal to thirty six. Then y you shift this side, thirty six shift this side. So x minus thirty six will be equal to y. So what is second one? So x minus thirty six here also x minus thirty six second number we got like that. So x minus thirty six. So if you divide this one number by another number x minus thirty six, what is the quotient value here? Four. So x will be equal to four into x minus thirty six. Then four into x four x minus four six up. Twenty-four, 
four threes are twelve. One forty four will get. So one forty four. Then x. So shift this x this side. One forty four left side. So what you'll get one forty four will be equal to four x minus x. Four x minus x will be three x. Then one forty four. So what you can say three x will be equal to one forty four. Then x will be equal to one forty four by three. Three ones are three. Four za. Then three eight za. So what is that value actually? So what you'll get answer is x will be equal to forty eight. Then another one x minus thirty six. That is forty eight minus thirty six. What you'll get eight minus six will be two. Four minus three will be one. So forty eight comma twelve. The difference if you take means will get thirty six. If you take divisions means twelve one za twelve forty eight za. So forty eight by twelve will do. Will get four. So forty eight minus twelve will do. Will get thirty six. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.